Oh, hey, Sophia. Oh, hey, Rich. How are you doing? Doing good, been pretty busy, you know. How are you feeling for this new uh, Time Traveler series? Well, I'm feeling good. I, I have to admit, I, I haven't really <laughs> prepared. Yeah, I can't anything, really say that I'm like ready, but we're no. here and I'm sure we can just like get it going and you know, good that. thing the cameras aren't rolling yet. You know, I don't even <laughs> really know what we're talking about, but. I'm just doing some warm up. Oh. Me, 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 me. Now, would you say I'm self-centered? Um. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rich. Well, I mean, don't tell Miss Megan, but I didn't even look at the email. Yeah, me neither. You know, maybe we should do that now before she gets here and we have to start filming and all. Well, you know what I do? I just kind of make it up as I go along, and then if she gives me the stare, I know I better change what I'm doing. You Wait, know what I'm talking about? Hold on, Rich. I think, let me just see. I think that, here we go. Yeah. I think that this is off. Okay. Or maybe we can, oh, here, because we can put the teleprompter on and yeah, 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 see yeah, if we yeah. can look at the lines ahead of time. Okay. There we go. Can you see it? Can you see the teleprompter? Oh, oh yeah, right. Okay, right. The new series <sighs> is called Like. Like this. I get it. Oh, like like this. Like in TikTok or Facebook or oh, whatever. Oh, like you're liking the picture. Exactly. Like thumbs up. Yeah, yep. okay. It's all about influencing people. And influence is the power to change or affect somebody. Uh -huh. And we, of course, always want to change and affect people for the positive, for the, for the good. And so, you know, judging by that definition, I'd like to consider myself an influencer. Oh, you do now, do you? Oh, my gosh. Well, yes, I have almost... 50 followers on TikTok. You have a TikTok? I, I do. Uh, what, do you think I'm like too old or something? Oh, I, no, not at all, Rich. Oh, okay. I, just, I, just, I just didn't know, you oh, know? I, I wouldn't have paid you to be, you know, maybe more of a Twitter guy or, I mean, huh, TikTok, yeah. it's, you know, it's a lot of dancing and pranks and, you know, bodybuilders. But um, what are your videos about on TikTok? Well, yeah, you said it yourself. TikTok is all about dance challenges. And, in fact, uh, we've got a little time before Miss Megan gets here. You know, yeah. we could do a little dance-off. And then we can see what else is in the script. And we'll have time to record a dance challenge. I think the kids would really like it. Rich, I'm not that much of a dancer, you know, I don't think they're, you know, I, you know, there are other ways that we could influence people than just start dancing. But this is TikTok, and it's the best way to be heard these days. If we want all the time travelers out there to hear us, then we've got to show them that we're on TikTok. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the best way to go. You know, lots of kids who watch us aren't on TikTok. Besides, I think there are much better ways for us to influence kids. Well, I mean, you're probably right, Sophia. But maybe we could just have a little bit of fun before we start filming. Like, um, like we could play a game. I do enjoy games. I you do know. know. <laughs> I, I, I'll show you two videos from TikTok. Okay. And then you can guess which video has more views. I don't know about this. We're supposed to be preparing for today's show once Miss Megan gets here. But... We'll wing it. <laughs> Forget about it. All right. Okay. Okay, well, here, I do like videos. So yeah, let's... no, see how that's, uh, that is so funny. She put her, and look, and, uh, the, the kid and the baby <laughs> did it too. All right, so are you ready? So here's the second video. All right. Okay. Look at that, he changed, he's changing all oh. like brushed his teeth in bed, drinking well, coffee. How do you drink coffee in bed like that? Now he's it's like, it's like making a snow, snow angel and back to sleep and he fell off. All right, so which one do you think has more views? Number one or number two? Probably number two. There's no way someone can drink coffee in bed like that. Yeah, well, maybe he's a very advanced coffee practitioner. But look, <laughs> it was number one, 18 million views for That's that. Is that how many views you got, Rich? No, I I actually only have three views so far, but I'm working on it. Oh, okay, so next one? here's the next video. Yep, construction you workers dancing. Right. Yeah, that's dangerous, wouldn't you think? All right, and then here comes the next one. Yo, famous relative check. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Howie Mandel, right? Yeah. Yeah, deal or no deal. My dad's bald, so we say he looks like him. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love your dad. Which one do you think? One or two has more views? I feel like one. The kids love the dancing, right? The dancing construction workers, always very popular. Let's see. Uh, oh, number two. I'm sorry, Sophia. It's all right. You know, Howie Mandel just has that certain draw, you know. <laughs> and, and, oh, wait, look. There's one more. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've oh. waited for. Oh, wow. That was quite a reaction. 
All right, so here's the set. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that is hilarious. What is he eating? That dog is making a mess. <laughs> oh, he really I is. I really did that. Yeah, I think that's really the dog. It's got to be number two. Come on, yeah, dogs I, I, always I'm get the legs. Definitely, Definitely two. number two. Definitely two. Come on, two. You can do it. Man, the suspense is killing me. Oh, hey. dude, woo! We All right, well, that was really, really fun. I'm just waiting to see if there, I think I have another one. Look, Daddy, I'm Oh, look, there we go. But can you eat it? Legos. No. Yeah. Watch and learn. Yeah. Come on. Uh-huh. So Legos in the waffle pan. <gasps> Giant. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, is that a real waffle? I think those are real waffles. <laughs> they look awesome. All right, here comes the second one. Maybe we should just go get some waffles. Yeah, Lego waffles. <gasps> and... They're standing up? That's a good trick. I remember that. Trick. I remember when that was... All right, which one do you think has more views? Well, I like food, so I'm going to go with the waffles. I like the waffles, too. I'm going waffles. How do you think they make such a big Lego waffle? I, I don't really know. They have a big I mean, like, Lego waffle that in a, You can't do that in, like, a waffle maker. No, unless it's a... <gasps> and it was the and waffles. And it was one. <laughs> yep. People like waffles. Okay. Oh, there's oh. another? Yep. Uh-huh. All right, so... Uh-huh. Don't be suspicious. Don't be <laughs> suspicious. Don't be 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 suspicious. Don't I think the robot. You think the cat? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's see. Robot. I'm going cat, you're going robot. Going robot. All right, let's see what we got. Robo man. <laughs> Kitty cat on the pool table. Oh, oh. you are right. <laughs> wow, you truly know your TikTok. Well, maybe you could help me make my TikTok videos more popular. <laughs> wow. So those videos were awesome. And so many people watched each one. Yeah, I mean, they have like millions awesome. of views. I know. And I can't think of anything better than to get our faces out there on TikTok in a video that goes totally viral. And my favorite videos are those of dance challenges. What do you think? I think we should try one. Well, that's not really in the plans for time travelers today, though. And well, don't you think we should be going over what Miss Megan planned for us before she gets here? <laughs> Is Miss Megan here? No. When the cat's <laughs> away, time travelers will play. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll make it a simple dance. It better be. I hope you know what you're talking. What we're going to be talking about with this whole influence series, because I sure don't think of I do. Of course I am. All right. Wait. Let's look up a dance. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we can't do that one. Oh, we certainly can't do that one. Oh, but we could do this one. I think this is a good choice. Are you ready? Sure, let's just go for it. All right. I hope this is easy, Rich. Well, I am a super mega dancer, so it'll be no problem. All right, let's Just follow see. my lead. I'll get it. Right foot, now left foot. 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 One hand, one hand, one hand, two hands, two hands, two hands. Hit your rollie, hit that rollie. Do your dance, do your dance. Now lean with it, rock, lean with it, rock. I don't, I don't know, know it. Rich, we're really bad at this. And that was an easy dance. At least it looks pretty easy. And the song even tells you what to do in it. I just, I just couldn't do it. Oh, but Sophia, this is how you influence people. You get them to follow you, and then you can tell them whatever you want. Do you think that that's like the best way to influence people though? I mean, a lot of people have already done that dance and probably do it way better than us. I mean, it's fun to make a video, but if we really want to change someone in an important way, what I think might be a little better is if we, you know, need to try some other things. Like what? I don't know, I'm not quite sure, but I bet there's something about influence, you know, in the Bible. In the Bible, that's what we do. And, you know, this is the point in Time Travelers where we usually talk to our friend and have them share the Bible story. And, you know, maybe we could just, you know, try that out while we're just, you know, rehearsing here and see what the Bible story is about. You know, usually someone does this for us, but I bet, I bet we could totally figure it out. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's here, see. Let's, let's pretend that this is Grace up in, like, the cloud. Well, I'm going to try to call Josh. Here we go. I, I think okay. it's calling. Uh-huh. Uh, Josh, are you there? Oh. Yes, yes, I'm here. Nice to see you, Rich and Sophia. But you're a little early. 
I'm not supposed to hear from you for a while. Yeah, well, we got here early and the cameras aren't rolling yet, so we figured, you know, the early bird gets the worm. <laughs> so we've just been reading over the script, doing a dance challenge, watching TikTok, being hilarious. Hey, Josh, well, we need your help. Our series is called Like This, and we're talking all about how we can have influence. Influence? Yeah, it means the power to change or affect someone or something. And Rich thought we could influence people by gaining followers on TikTok. Yeah, and I still think it could work. We just need to, well, practice our dancing. Well, but I was wondering if, you know, maybe there was a different way to influence people. Maybe something from the Bible. So we called because we need some help and thought you could tell us the Bible story. I know we're off camera and all that and, you know, but maybe just like a sneak preview? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I think we have a story about how Jesus and the disciples influence people. Excellent. I can't wait to hear you take this away. Go ahead, Josh. The story today happened the same day that Jesus rose from the dead. Last week on Easter, we celebrated that Jesus rose from the grave. He conquered death and sin for all time. But of course, Jesus wasn't finished yet. After he had risen, he even appeared to his friends. But they didn't recognize him right away because they didn't expect to see him again. You see, all the people who loved Jesus had seen him die. They knew he was dead. In their minds, there was no way he could be standing in front of them three days later. Even Mary Magdalene didn't recognize Jesus at first. But after she did, she ran to tell the other disciples that she had seen him. Of course, the other disciples were not sure because they had not seen him. Our story today takes place later that night, right after Jesus appeared to Mary at the tomb. Now, I know the cameras aren't on yet, and it's just a practice run through, but this is the gospel. So let's begin by saying, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This is a reading from the gospel of John. Glory to you, O Lord. Check this out. Stories of the Bible. Jesus appears to Thomas. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. What? Hey ah! Jesus appeared to his disciples to show them that he was alive. One of the twelve disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus came. Hey, hey Thomas! Later, the disciples told Thomas, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands. Put my fingers into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Oh, hey guys. Peace be with you, he said. Then Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. Thomas said, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, You believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Now, Thomas knew it was true. He had seen it for himself. Jesus was alive. 
That night, everything changed. All of the disciples had seen Jesus alive. They now saw for themselves that he had defeated death and had risen from the dead. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, can you imagine seeing Jesus after you thought he was dead? Talk about influence. Yeah. If that happened to me, I would probably just drop everything and do anything for Jesus. You know, the disciples had to have a lot of faith. We get to hear about the whole story, but think about how scared they might have been. They probably thought their lives were all in danger. And then Jesus comes to give them peace and reassures them. I really like what Jesus tells Thomas. Happy are those who believe without seeing me. That's what faith is. Believing even when we can't see everything. We believe that Jesus cares about us and is there for us even when we can't see him. Oh, I just thought about something for influence. Jesus really influenced people, you know, by the things he did and the things he said, but those things didn't just happen by accident. You're right. He went on TikTok. No, Rich, he didn't go on TikTok. <laughs> I know. Jesus worked on his own so that he'd be ready to say and do the right things. He spent a lot of time in quiet prayer talking to his heavenly father. You know, and he learned the scriptures and even, you know, had many of them just memorized. Oh, yeah. He went to church every week and had a faith community. That's right, Sophia. And all of that meant that when Jesus had the chance to influence people, he knew just what to say and do. And I bet that's why he showed Thomas his wounds and said the words, happy are those who believe without seeing me. He knew Thomas needed to hear and see to believe. Yeah, and now that's an influencer. And that story is a good start for us to understand influence a little better. Hey, thanks, Josh. My pleasure. This practice was great. I guess you'll be calling me back in a few minutes when you do the actual filming. Yep, will do. We'll talk soon. Sounds good. See you later. All right, Rich, so here's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. I think the best way for us to influence people isn't to go out and to seek followers. Really? But how are we going to influence people if we don't have people following us? Plus, I really wanted to do one of those, like, dance challenges. Well, I mean, just look at what Jesus did. I mean, <laughs> Rich, I mean, sure, you could say he recruited his disciples, but he influenced people by living, you know, a little differently. He was brave, and he was kind, and he was bold. A true influencer. And he knew his Heavenly Father so well that he could, you know, share about God with others. Well, when you're right, you're right, Sophia. And you know what? You're right. <laughs> well, and here's the most important thing that I learned from the Bible story today. Uh huh. Jesus influenced people because of what he did when he was alone, just as much as what he did when he was with others. Whoa. Wait, say it again. I'm, I'm not sure I follow. So Jesus influenced people by what he did when he was alone, just as much as what he did or what he said when he was with others. So wait, let me get this straight. Well, it's, it's kind of like what we do on Time Travelers. When, when we're on camera and talking to all of the time travelers each week and we, we share a Bible story and we hope we're influencing their lives in a positive way and, you know, but what matters just as much is what we do when the cameras aren't rolling. Exactly. Yes, you've got it. Because when no one is looking, that's when our character really shows. If we really want to have to influence people, we have to work on ourselves first. So look at the people who, you know, you really like to, you would really like to have an influence on. Like the people doing dance challenges on TikTok. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, see, like, their videos. Uh -huh. You know, their videos are a minute or less, but think about how much time they spend probably practicing the dance, doing it over and over and over and over and over again. They have to set up the camera and get everything just right, perfect, so that they can post it and share it with you, and, you know, that way they can influence you just for those few seconds when you actually are going to watch it. Well, that's a good point. Influence, it's not easy, is it? <laughs> it takes work. Jesus had a limited time with his disciples and with Thomas to influence them in today's Bible story. But he had been preparing for that moment with his prayer and life for a long time. Hmm. Hey, Rich. Yeah. If that little red light is on, doesn't that mean that the camera's filming? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what that means. <laughs> um, well, uh, oh. <laughs>
Um. Oh, Rich. Yeah? I think we've been filming this entire time. What? And what that means... Uh, hi, time travelers! <laughs> hi, time travelers! Have you been here this whole time? Oh, man. Didn't you know we were there? <laughs> didn't have any idea. I hope I didn't say anything to embarrass myself. Oh my golly, does my hair look okay? I, do I have any food in my teeth? Uh, uh, if I had known we were filming, I would have done things so differently. Uh, I would have spoken with authority and, uh, you know, and perhaps with a uh, British accent. I just keep thinking about how horrible I must have looked in that dance and they all saw it. Oh, uh, well, uh, oh, man. You, know, I, you know, if you think about it though, Rich, it kind of fits, doesn't it? We were just saying how it matters what you do when no one is watching and it's true I guess everyone was watching us even if we didn't think they were or didn't know it and what we were doing mattered yeah I just keep thinking about how horrible my British accent just was <laughs> but I'm just glad we got to the Bible story and we got that in there even though we thought we were just rehearsing it was the real thing and I've learned something along the way doing some dance challenges well it can be fun that could be a fun way to influence people. But I need to start with the way I'm acting and thinking when nobody is watching. Exactly, Rich. You know who always seems to be doing the right thing, no matter whether people are watching or not? Who? Moms. Mothers. Oh my gosh, they do so much to support their families. They pray for their kids. They work. They make the household run well. Moms are a great example of having influence because of all the things they do when no one is watching. You're so right, Rich. And it's Mother's Day in just a couple of weeks, and I wonder if we could use our influence to celebrate our moms here in Time Travelers. Yeah, you're so right. And look, there is a sticky note here that says Mother's Day Video Challenge. That's perfect. I bet Miss Megan left it here as a reminder to tell us for next week or something. I bet you're right. <laughs> Maybe it's our job to come up with a Mother's Day Video Challenge for our time travelers. Yes, and you know, we could show, you know, the videos on here and, you know, show them on the Mother's Day week of all, what all the kids did. That is such a great idea, Sophia. But what should we have the kids do? Hmm, let me think. What if we have, ooh, what if we challenged our time travelers to surprise their moms with some love? Oh, you mean like they capture themselves on video surprising their moms with love? Exactly. Oh, that's a great idea. They could surprise her with a card, surprise her with a hug, a picture, a dance, maybe even a song. Or a brand new car. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. All right, well, <laughs> you know what? Wouldn't they need to ask their moms to film them? Well, maybe the kids could ask their dad or a sibling or a friend or a grandparent to help surprise the mom. Well, you could help your kids surprise Nora. That's true. Oh, this is a fantastic challenge. And Nora loves surprises. Okay, but what do our time travelers do with the videos after they surprise their moms? Why don't they, you know, they could just email it to Miss Megan and she'll figure out the details. Her email address is m-g-l-i-k-i-n at churchnativity.com. Wait, are you saying that it's m-g-i-l-k-i-n at churchnativity.com? That is, and she can just provide information on how to send the videos. Well, that sounds simple. I love this challenge. It's even better than a dance challenge because it will make a positive impact on someone who does so much for us. Exactly. So friends at home, since you're watching us and we didn't even know it, you have until May 2nd to complete this Mother's Day challenge, and you have to get your video to Miss Megan by the 2nd. Then we can sh show them here on our Mother's Day show, and moms will have a double surprise. We love all those moms out there. They're a great example for all of us. I feel like there's so much to pray for today, for us to work on ourselves when no one is watching, and to have the kind of influence Jesus had. Hey, Sophia. Would you say the prayer? I sure can. All right, everyone, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, thank you for showing us how important it is to pray and prepare ourselves. We saw today how you influenced Thomas and the other disciples when they doubted, and it was because of everything you did when no one was watching that helped you know what to say and what to do. 
Help us to take time for quiet prayer that will help us choose things that make you proud. We love you and we thank you. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Oh, Sophia, thank you so much for that. It was beautiful. And even though we didn't know the camera was rolling, <laughs> I think we did pretty well. Now, what do we want to do with those dance challenges? Well, we have some extra time so we could do one of those dance challenges. Yeah, to a worship song. Oh my gosh, exactly. What's our worship song? That's a great way to do it. That's awesome. All right, we'll stay around and dance, everybody. And we'll see you next time on Time, time Travelers. Travelers. It's an anthem in the making Can you feel it start to rise? Can you hear the generations Getting louder over time? Every son and every daughter Singing out into the night It's not time to be silent Don't you
your window, so don't let it pass you by. Lift your hands to the heavens, lift your voice to the sky. Praise the Lord of all creation, let his name be lifted high.